In order to sync your code with the remote repository in GitHub or any other code hosting platform, there are a couple of options. One is pull, another is fetch. In the last session, what we did, we used clone. Now in clone, you already have one repository. There you have some code. You perform the clone, post clone. The local repository has all the information as well as working directory has the latest code. Now think about a scenario where in GitHub, there is a code change performed. Somebody has added new files or edited some existing file. What to do? Like I said earlier, there are two options. One is fetch, another is pull. We will explore both. In case of fetch, what happens? It only updates the local repository. Meaning, local repository then knows that, okay, there are some changes in the remote repository, but there is no file transfer. Meaning, the files that are changed in the remote repository, those are not updated in your system, meaning your working directory. Another additional step needs to be done, which is merge, post merge only, then your code will be updated in your working directory. Now, this is not sufficient at most of the times, so the common operation that we use frequently is pull. Again, coming back to the old scenario, you have GitHub repository, some change is done over here, you perform a pull. What happens? Your local repository, as well as your working directory, both are updated and you can work on the changes. So enough of conceptual discussion, let's perform them hands-on and see what actually happens. Right now, my GitHub desktop is opened and I have this repository, demo-repository, which is actually from GitHub. If I open my GitHub account over here, I have this repository and here I have only a single file and this code or this repository is already cloned into my system. So whatever changes are there, that is present in my local system. Anyways, let me open the Visual Studio code just to show you the current code. Click on open in Visual Studio code. Now, in order to simulate a code change in the remote repository, let me go to GitHub, open this file from here, click on edit. I'm just going to remove one of these methods, maybe this last one, delete, commit changes, keeping the default commit message, click on commit changes. Now, this is one change. Another change I can do, if I go back to the repository, click on add file, just a dummy file I will add, click on commit changes. Again, click on this button. Now, there is a change in the remote repository. I have one version which is already cloned, but after that, some changes are done in the remote repository. In GitHub desktop, you can notice this fetch origin section is there. Just click on this. Right now, it is trying to fetch and here, at the bottom, you can see pull two commits from the origin remote. So it has identified that in the branch, main branch in the remote repository on GitHub, there are some changes, rather some commits which are present that do not exist in my machine. So if I want, I can pull them. And this is what it is. I can only know that, yeah, there are some changes in the remote repository. What are the changes from my local? There is no way to know. Just for checking purpose, if I go to VS Code, my code is as is. Although I removed this particular method, I added one dummy file, nothing is there. Here, I want to highlight one thing. Suppose you have fetched already and it is showing, yes, there are two changes. And ultimately, this icon has changed to pull origin. But it may happen, you don't want to pull the changes. You have some local changes that may get overridden. So you don't want to pull at this point of time, but you want to fetch again. But how would you do that? The fetch icon has gone. Right, but if you want to fetch again, what you can do here on this drop down, you can click and it will give you the option to fetch the latest change from origin again. If you click on this, then it will fetch once again. As there is no change in the remote repository right now, it will still show you the same message pull two commits from the origin remote. But if there is a change, it will show you the updated message. Let's check that. Let me go to my GitHub repository. I'm going to change this sample TXT file. Click on edit, just add one line, commit the change, click commit changes over here. Just go back to GitHub desktop, we will fetch again rather than pulling. Click here, at the bottom click fetch origin. Now instead of pull two commits from the origin remote, it is telling me there are three commits at the remote repository. So fetch we are done, let's see if we pull what happens. Now as we know for pull, I clicked it, it is pulling it, so it has pulled everything. Ideally. My workspace or the working directory should be updated now. Let's go back to VS Code. Here I can see, yes, my math.util is already updated. The method divide is no more. And the sample.txt, the dummy file, it has both the changes. So this is the way 
to update your workspace whether it is your working directory or your local repository using pull and fetch pull is the thing we use most of the times fetch only give you some indication that yes there is some difference with your local workspace or directory or repository with the remote one but pull will actually pull your code to your working directory so this is a very basic workflow while working on a real life project there would be many other scenarios and complications as well we will explore those gradually going ahead that's all for now